Fade Interactive here. And if you're anything like me, you have been seeing AI art pop up all over the internet recently, and you want to get started on it. Specifically like me, you want to get started because you're tired of boring, plain backgrounds, and you want to make your own and have it be yours. But you don't know where to begin. So I am going to try to help you. Now, I am new to this too, so if anyone knows anything, leave it down in the comments. But this is the way that I have found out to make great backgrounds with AI art. We're going to start with an AI art bot in Discord called Midjourney. Midjourney is a great AI because it makes these really highly detailed photos. The only problem is that it only makes these in squares. This is version 4 of Midjourney AI trying to make a girl out camping. Uh, now, you can have custom resolutions in version 4. This one is a 2x3, but you can see the AI is very confused, uh, not as well as just a 1x1. One one. Now, you can downgrade to version 3, uh, but that came with some very mixed results. Uh, you can also use a different AI art program. We're actually going to use uh, Dolly 2 today, but starting out with Dolly 2, it doesn't have the greatest of uh, details at the start. So we're going to use Midjourney to start our artwork, and then we're going to use Dolly to expand our artwork. So here in my server, I have made two prompts for us. Uh, a man hiking in the mountains with fire all around, and two girls watching a jousting tournament. And it gives us four to start out with. And we can choose our best one and upscale it, or we can choose to make versions of each four. So I've chosen to upscale these two. I think they look pretty nice. The image we're going to try to expand today is this guy walking along the mountain paths. So I have taken it and downloaded it, and I'm just going to throw it in to Dolly 2. I'm going to skip cropping, and here we go. Here is our original 1024 by 1024 artwork frame. But that is not big enough to become a desktop background. So we're going to try to paint and add some edges to it. So all we do is we click uh, a generation frame, and we want to get a little bit of the original artwork, I think, in there so it knows what to start out with, and we need some keywords into it. So we have a man walking through fiery mountains. Spell check that, because I'm horrible at spelling, and let's add some uh, prompt words for it. So this is what I used for the original mid-journey prompt. You can see all these things at the end are kind of what I want it to do. So fantasy art, renaissance painting, realistic painting, all these kind of keywords so it knows what to look up to use as a reference. So with that out of the way, we're going to generate a frame and see if we can expand this artwork. And there you can see it's loaded and it's added uh, four frames. I've chosen the fourth and last one. I think it looks the best. And now we're going to go to the other side. Uh, now, the problem I had with these three frames is try to add a man walking. So I'm just going to say fiery mountains because we already have the guy. And we're going to try to expand this image this other direction. I think I like the fourth frame again. It adds a lot of rocks and even some smoke here in the background. Now this is probably the length that we want, but I want to add some uh, bottoms and tops to it just to get it even bigger. And I might even go more side to side. So uh, we keep going, we keep generating our frames. So here we have a mostly completed uh, expanded image of that original square. Here was where we started, and this is all the stuff we added. Now, of course, there's going to be a little uh, some discrepancies here. You can see lines where we added the frames or some things we don't like. And as you saw in that uh, time lapse, uh, you can take this eraser and you can try to fix those by re-adding the generation frame. And we'll try that one right now. 
So I think that we have fixed the uh, issues here. There was a line there that is gone, and these white specks are mostly gone. If you see any other blemishes, uh, sometimes I hop into Photoshop, and that is easy to take out some of these minor things. I can see a little bit more lines here. Uh, I can open this up in Photoshop and fix up these lines. I'm just going to try one more time just doing it with the AI. And I think that one has kind of done it. Uh, I think I will go on to our final step here. So we could just use what we've made as our desktop background. It certainly is big enough, but you can see that it kind of gets pixelated really easily. And I'm trying to do this for free today. Both Mid Journey and Dolly have free trials uh, that you can get low resolution stuff with without paying. But uh, we're going to use a third AI. We're going to jump in here to this image enlarger that tries to enhance an image. They suggest this in the Mid Journey Discord. And we're going to jump in here and try to make this four times larger. Let's also remove some noise. And we're going to let this run and see what happens. It has completed. We have made our own Renaissance art background of a man walking in fiery mountains. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I'm on a 2K monitor and I can't see any pixels. Uh, but of course you could expand the image further. You could again put it in the upscaler to make it bigger. Our final resolution, if we look at the properties. <laughs> our final resolution was an outstanding uh, 11,000 by 7,000. So I think we're uh, pretty good there on uh, resolution differences. So that's it for me today. Uh, if anyone knows anything more about AI, I am also beginning, but this is what I found to be the uh, fun and easiest way. Uh, leave in the comments below what you guys think and what you guys have made. All right, see ya.